everybody! Welcome back to another edition of The World According to Jason. <laughs> I am Jason, joined once again by the homie Sean. And we are here to try out some fruity Kit Kats from Japan. <laughs> We have five different flavors today. I know one of which I have tried, and I think you might have tried it, but maybe not. But anyways, we have ume, which is plum. Okay. Then we've got raspberry. We have mango, banana caramel. So it's like kind of fruity, but also desserty with the caramel. And then we have passion fruit. So I love the fruity flavor Kit Kats. I haven't had any of these except for the passion fruit, but uh, I'm excited to try them all. Yeah, let's do it. So we're gonna start with the plum. I can feel it in my plums. Oh, part what of you is that plum. from? You know what? That, what TV show is that from? I can feel it down in my plums. <laughs> oh no! It's Eastbound and Down. I it's Will Ferrell. It. He plays like a used car salesman. I, seen it. I can feel it down in my plums. Oh wow! My, ooh, it's like a pastel kind of a green. It's got a very oh, strong that's, smell to that's it. Beautiful. That is interesting. That is a beautiful scent. It's very Easter green. Ready? Well, Easter tomorrow. Very plummy. Mm. Mm. That is delicious. I love plum, and that is a, a very good representation of it. There's this, the Starburst, they have the plum Starburst. They're like one of the tropical oh, flavors okay. that yeah, taste like these. Really? Yeah. I like it a lot. I'm gonna go seven and a half. I'm gonna set it, you know, on the higher Start the bar end. high? Yeah. Um, it wasn't my favorite. It's not bad, so I'll give it a six. All right, yeah. okay. One down, four to go. Woo. Now we're gonna do raspberry. Razzmatazz. Raspberry is probably my second favorite berry. Okay. To the strawberry. To the strawberry. Wow, that is definitely raspberry. <laughs> now, I think we had raspberry in those like bougie, like yeah, super the fancy chocolatory Kit Kats. Yeah. Um, these are just like, you know, the Normal common folk. Kit Please, sir. I want some more. What? Common folk. Common folk. This is, they smell this is like so the other ones, though. The they do smell ones. really yeah. strong, but let's see if they have a strong of a taste. It's like raspberry jelly or raspberry that is, jam. That is very close to those other ones we had. Mm -hmm. Not as quite citrusy or like sour, sour, like bright, yeah. like not as bright. Yeah, yeah it's more of a milded, sweeter, milded. like maybe more artificial. Mm -hmm. Maybe. But it tastes a lot like, like a raspberry jam to me. Mm -hmm. I like that it a lot. Tart yeah, it's hard. And I yep. like it. I think I like it a little bit better than the Ume, so I'm going to give it an 8. Yeah, I definitely like it better than the first one. I'm going to give it a 7. 7? Yep. Nice. All right, so next up we have mango, which has long been one of my favorite fruits. I think actually my favorite mango of all the mangoes are Filipino mangoes. They are like the most juicy and sweet and amazing. Do you like mangoes? I do like mangoes. Nice. I did not know Filipino mangoes were different. Uh, I would say they're just... Better tasting. I know they're like the best of the of all the mangoes I've tried. Filipinos so far have been my favorite. All right. Oh, it smells like Costco used to sell these uh, sorbets that were like different fruit flavors, and they were served inside the fruit. So like the mango was served inside of like a hollowed out mango skin, and then like coconut was served out in a hollowed uh, coconut shell. Interesting. Um, I'm not getting mango when I smell this. Are you? Are you broken? I am. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I am. It smells like I'm soap. <laughs> oh, I hope it doesn't taste like soap. <laughs> I'm getting mango. You're not? At the end, it's kind of got a little mango taste to it, but I don't know, man. I'm getting mango. I, I, it's just, I don't know. I like them a lot. I don't like them quite as much as the raspberry ones, but I think I like them a little bit more than the ume. I'm going to give these an eight. I mean, do we need to have the tiebreaker... Tell us if it's soap or not. All I can think of is the Bath and Body Works soap whenever I'm eating this. All right, we need we need uh, Jen's palate, her sophisticated palate, to explain. Do you smell mango or do you smell soap? I smell mango. Okay, so I win so far. So now far. let's see what the... I'm just saying. Is Sean broken? It tastes like mango. Yeah, okay. Sean's broken. I'm broken. <laughs> Maybe I've eaten... Yeah, maybe maybe I had great. my mouth washed out with too much mango soap when I was a kid. Maybe. Person. Where are you getting? You're lucky. I you have mango, mango soap. soap? I know. Apparently, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, what did you give it a oh, rating? Um, I'll give it a. I'll give it a five. It was okay. okay. It was alright. Right. Shame. I love you, mango. I'm sorry. Don't listen to him. 
All right, so we're down to the final two, and the next up is banana caramel, which sounds like it could be pretty delicious. Yeah, almost like a banana fostered, maybe? Almost, yeah. yeah. Maybe. I'm wondering if we should have had the passion fruit before we had the bananas. No. No? Save the best for last. All right. So I can smell a little bit, a wee bit of banana. I expected these to be yellow. No. Because it's banana? They're so silly. All right, you ready? There's a banana. Banana for sure. Caramel's very late to the party, but it's there. Yeah, that's mostly chocolate and banana. Yeah. With like a wee bit of caramel. Not too too, but mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It was good. Not I like. I don't know if I've ever had like chocolate covered bananas Oh, before. I have. That's pretty delicious. It is. And, and the like chocolate covered banana chips too. The, the yeah. free dried ones. Yeah, they're really, they're really solid. I don't think I like them better than, than these. So I'm gonna give this a seven and a half. I'm gonna tie it with the uh, the ume. I'll, I'll give it a seven and a half. Nice. Yeah, I'll agree with you on that one. Well, now we have a passion fruit. No passion fruit. Yeah. I mean, since these are passion fruit, do we <clears> have <throat> to eat these like Lady in the Tramp style? Well, do we? <laughs> no. That, I don't know if that would work out too well. I'm sure the audience would love that, yeah, but not today. That would probably throw up. <laughs> Aww. I got hurt feelings. I got hurt feelings. Wow. That is passion fruit that to is the max. Strong. Oh my goodness. Alright, here we go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. Wow. That is taking passion fruit and turning it to eleven. Yeah. That <laughs> was so good. It, it, after eating the banana one too. Oh yeah, I think that like, was like a huge contrast between mm -hmm. those two. Oh yeah, this. Oh, does it take the cake from me today? I think it does. I'm gonna give it a nine and a half. I'm gonna go nine. Yeah, that was really good. And you were a little worried about that one. I was a little you? bit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I like passion fruit drinks and stuff, but yeah, I, I know I've had this before, but I can't remember what score I gave it. But I'm feeling it today. <laughs> Woo! I'm loving it. It was good. I liked it. All right, so I think that's probably like I think that was our highest score, both of our high scores. So that's yeah. the favorite. That's right? the winner for the, yeah. for the evening. Ooh, what was your second? The soap. Oh, t totally a soap <laughs> flavored. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, no, I would say my second favorite, probably the raspberry, actually. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. All really good, solid Kit Kats today. So I'm excited. I know we have one more bonus Kit Kat video coming up very soon. So stick around for that. So that means that we're at the end of the video. Oh. So thank you so much for joining me, Sean. I yeah. had a lot of fun trying these. a lot of fun. And I hope you enjoyed it at home. And if you did, please make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell notification. So that way, as soon as part three comes up with the other Japanese Kit Kats that we have to try, you're going to be the first to know about it. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end. And until next time, stay curious. <laughs>